to wear a basket muzzle, it's um, like we're actually teaching them how to wear a treat basket. So we like to call this the traveling treat basket or the traveling baby gate um, because it allows them to interact safely with people and it gives everybody a sense of security. We're actually just going to ask him to eat a treat kind of out of my hand with the basket muzzle in it. So we're going to see. Perfect. And I'm not pushing it into his face. I'm not like forcing him to wear it. I really want to um, get him used to wearing it in his, the best way possible. So once he gets to the point where he's totally comfortable eating it out of my hand, then I'm actually going to put the treat inside of the nozzle like that. And I'll just hold it and put the treat right on this little red spot. Just one. And then you can go ahead and add it or decrease the amount of um, distance it is. So just put some a little bit more, you know, like right here. Put it on there. Perfect. One of the things that you notice is that he dives his face right into that muzzle, and that's exactly what we want him to do. So when we bring this muzzle out, we want him to be excited that it's there. It's not a scary thing. It means that he is going to have a lot of fun and a lot of treats. So the next thing that you're actually going to do is once you can get him to put his nose into the muzzle on his own just by putting some food in there and luring them, you're actually going to hold a piece of food um, on, from the outside of the muzzle to the inside. And the best place to do that is going to be right about here. And once he gets the food, you just take the muzzle right away. You don't have to worry about leaving his nose in there. We'll get to that later. So the next step with this training is that we're actually going to ask him to put his face in the muzzle, and then we're going to give him the treat. So we're no longer luring him. So where before we were luring him to get him into the muzzle, now we're going to ask him to put his nose in the muzzle and then give him the treat. And then how we do that is we're actually just going to present the muzzle to him, and then um, I'll ask him to put his go in or nose, whatever you choose to use. And then once his face is in there, I'll tell him yes and give him a treat. So, okay. Yes. Once he is done with the treat, I take it away. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually teach him um, or ask him to put his nose into the muzzle and then just stay there. And I know that he knows a hold cue, so instead of saying stay, you'll just say hold. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us the time um, to buckle that strap. But for right now, we're just going to ask him to hold his nose. After a second, we'll go ahead and give him the treat. So it'll look good. Hold. Good job. All right, perfect. So the next step for this is actually going to be um, putting that strap over the back of his neck and over the back of his head. So to do that, we're actually going to ask him to put his nose in and hold, and then we're just going to move the strap over the top of his head. We'll give him a treat. We'll take the strap off, and we'll release it so it'll look like that. Good boy. Hold. So the next thing I'm going to have you 
do is I'm going to actually have you buckle that strap. Okay. All right. So um, what you'll do is you'll ask him to put his nose in to hold, and then you'll just buckle that strap. So you might need to And this is always kind of the hardest part because now you're kind of moving around. And you can even give them a couple treats. Good job, Chris. Perfect. And then go ahead and take it off. There. <laughs> so the next step is actually going to be to put that muzzle on him and then maybe ask him for a stay or a stand or even a trick if he knows any tricks. A paw would be a good thing. So good sit. Right in the middle. Just a little close in the middle. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'm close. I think I'll just hold them. Okay, perfect. Grace Hawk. Grace Hawk. Good job. There you go. Go ahead and take that off of him. Okay. So when we're working with the muzzle, especially in the beginning parts, we always want to make sure that while it's on, they're engaged. So we don't ever want to put it on him and then kind of leave him to his own devices, because again, we want it to be something really good. Uh, when I'm doing any cues with the muzzle, I always make them really simple. So I, if I know that he's going to do a paw more than he's going to do a touch, then I'll ask him for that paw, because it's something easy for him to do, it's simple, and I can give him a lot of rewards, and that's what muzzle training should be. It should be fun. It should be something that even though it's a useful thing and it's a safety thing, uh, we don't ever want them to be afraid of it. Sit. Sit. to knock that muzzle off of his face because then it's no longer useful. Is that a little loose? Is that okay? It is a little bit loose. You may want to um, tighten it up a bit. This could come up over his neck like that. Mm -hmm. But it also means that when it's on, it can come off of his nose. So this right here is actually a really just a good type for him mm -hmm. uh, and his nose shape. There's Paul. Good job. You can move around and ask him to come to you. Here's come. Good job. You can even ask him to jump up or sit or whatever. Just kind of do some fun stuff with him. Very sit. Thank you. 